My name is Hazel Farndell. I'm the geologist for geothermal engineering. So behind me here today is the wellheads at United Downs. So you can see two wells. There's the production well and the injection well. There's not much else here today, to be honest. Uh, we're waiting for the power plant to be constructed, which should be here sometime next year. Geothermal energy is using the heat from deep within the earth uh, at the surface, either directly as heat or to produce electricity. So here in Cornwall, geothermal energy works by drawing fluid up from about five kilometres depth up to the surface from a, a really, really deep well. We can then use that fluid at the surface to generate steam. Now that steam can be used to turn a turbine and that is what is used to generate electricity. We can then put the fluid back underground really simply through our injection well and it will percolate back down through the, uh, the hot granite uh, to restart the process. So geothermal energy has a number of benefits. Uh, it's a renewable, sustainable source of energy, but beyond that, it actually has the smallest surface footprint of any type of uh, energy generation. And it is also what we call a baseload provider. So it produces 24 seven, almost 365 days of the year. So the UK has a huge geothermal potential. In theory, we could get geothermal energy anywhere in the UK. We just have to drill deep enough. With current drilling technology, it's uh, best to do this in Cornwall and Devon through Southwest Britain uh, because we have a granite body which naturally produces heat. A recent independent report by the Renewable Energy Association actually estimated that there's a potential geothermal resource of 222 gigawatts beneath our feet here in Britain. That would be enough to power all of the UK's homes more than 18 times over. Now this is unrealistic, this is far more than we need, but it's a really exciting potential. A lot of people ask the difference between fracking and geothermal. Um, so both involve drilling down into the ground, uh, but there's a really simple difference between them. So fracking is when you would forcibly push water and chemicals down into the ground to generate brand new cracks within the rock. So this can create some instability beneath our feet. Whereas uh, what we do here at a geothermal site is we inject water with no chemicals at all into natural fracture zones. So all we're doing is flowing water through these fractures. So there are a number of possibilities for geothermal around the UK, not just drilling deep into granite down here in Cornwall. We can also do what we call repurposing of oil and gas wells. Uh, so all over the country, we have these wells drilled to one or two kilometers depth. Now these won't get enough heat out for generating power with the current technology, but they can be used to provide a source of heat at under 100 degrees C. Um, so the infrastructure is already there. We would just be repurposing the existing wells. So it reduces upfront costs uh, tremendously. Each geothermal development site can produce tens of jobs directly to the local communities. Um, but beyond that, because there is a heat associated with the electricity production, it also has the potential to attract a lot of heat intensive businesses as well. So this is potential for hundreds of indirect jobs as well. So it's really important to us to minimize the environmental impact we have when we're developing a new geothermal site. So before we even apply for planning permission for a site, we have to undertake uh, hundreds of different surveys. These can be with ecologists looking at the numbers of dormice and slow worms and bats and understanding the amount of biodiversity there is on a site, uh, looking at the, the heritage that's there, making sure that we preserve it. Um, and then it moves forward into the development itself. So we have to make sure that our site has as small impact as possible. Um, and then once we're operational, we will rewild the bits of the site that we no longer need. And we also only use the water that is already within the granite. So it is a closed loop and it will stay within the granite. We also want to be a good neighbour, so we want to minimise the impacts on the local communities. So we make sure we keep our noise levels down, we make sure our light pollution is minimal, and we make sure we have a solid traffic management plan in place. So it's here at the United Downs site that by the end of 2022, we will be generating the UK's first geothermal electricity. And it's Ecotricity that are the first people to be supporting this project. <laughs>